name is Jana and this is my channel Curse on the Road. I'll show you videos about fashion and travel and tips and tricks how to enjoy both. This video will be about my favorite department store in America, Macy's. This will be trying hall slash inside the dressing room and I'll take you along for my shopping. I have picked some evening gowns for today to talk about and show you and then a couple of casual pieces that I took home. This first dress, that was love at first sight. It's this beautiful Calvin Klein sequin blue dress. It was amazing, but it was size 16 and they didn't have bigger one in store. Normally I could order it online, but I was worried that if it was size bigger, it would be frumpy and it wouldn't make the nice silhouette this one did. The only problem was that it had a bit shorter sleeve than I usually like. I was trying everything. I was trying even to pull the dress slightly off my shoulders to create a longer sleeve and like that it was just perfect. But I was worried that having it adjusted would take away from it or that it won't stay in place. So even though I really loved it and I still slightly regret not getting it, I left it in the store. But if you are a little less conscious about your arms than I am, definitely go there and get it. It cost $249 there, but as you know Macy's, especially after Christmas holidays, they have lots of discounts, so you might even get it cheaper. <laughs> this next dress, ladies, that's a head turner just on its own. If you're not scared of red, if you're not scared of a body contrast, this is something. For me, I wasn't really feeling myself in it, to be honest. I usually love when something is stretchy. The stretchier actually the better. But this one, it was a little bit too stretchy and it didn't have the thickness to support the body and to tuck me in a little bit. So I wasn't that wowed by it to consider buying it. But if you like it, it has really, really interesting cleavage and beautiful color. All right, this one, imagine you're a princess and since you're royalty, you want to go for the ball in your sweatpants. Exactly. This dress is sweatpants of dresses, but in high fashion. The one I'm wearing is size 20. It's from Adriana Papel. And why I say it's like sweatpants? It's the comfort on the top level. It is absolutely perfect. No itchy, no scratchy, just absolutely comfortable. The top is actually jersey material, so it is actually a little bit of sweatpants, but it looks great. And the skirt, definitely a princess. I've tried it on in two different colors, same size, the red one, everybody likes the red one actually better, but for me, gold has something in it that is just royal. Okay, you know when you put on a dress and you're like, hmm, this looks good. And then you turn around and it's like, how could you betray me like this? Basically the dress from the front looks stunning. It had a little ruching on the side, so it gave you the nice silhouette, it hid what it's supposed to hide, it showed off what it was supposed to show off, but when I turned around, I found out there was some weird ruching over your backside, and it was just accentuating things that it shouldn't have, if you know what I mean. So that one was a hard pass, unfortunately. But if you like to have some extra booty in the house, definitely that one does it. Okay, this nice dress. Same color, you probably can see the pattern that that's one of my favorite color. 
as a redhead, I really enjoy things in this dark green color because I think it flatters my skin tone and my hair color. This dress was in size 18 and it's mesh. It's just the lace and it has the lining only on the top part and a very, very, very short underskirt that doesn't go even down to your mid thighs. So for me, it was a hard pass. If it had a bit longer underskirt, it would be amazing and it really nicely hugged the body and it looked festive, but like this, no thank you. If you're thinking, okay, you like the dress, but what about the arms you were talking about previously that you don't like showing? This thing has completely naked arms. Girls, there is always some beautiful cover-up to solve the problem with this kind of dress. There is no short sleeve, there is no fashion item on the arms that would be hidden if you use a cover-up. So for this kind of dress, a nice flowy cover-up as I have on the picture would definitely do the trick. I actually ended up purchasing that cover-up. If you're already looking for summer like me and you're looking for some cute dresses, this one is definitely a big contender. It is animal print, definitely old fashioned now, and it's flowy, it's summery, and I think if you want to bring it to the office with some nice jacket or a shirt over it, it would look stunning and with the little belt it has, it's definitely a piece that would be a staple in everyone's wardrobe. And now we're getting to pieces that I already actually bought. The first of them is this see-through turtleneck from Rachel Lockroy. I bought it in the size 3X and I love it. You know, I always wanted something that is see-through, but flattering see-through. Lots of materials don't make your body look nice underneath. It looks, the fabric makes weird patterns that look like you have a rash in certain places, where it stretches, it's more see-through than in the places where it doesn't, and it's confusing and it doesn't look lovely. This one? absolutely perfect. It has the right amount of sheerness and it's absolutely perfect. I was worried it's gonna be that, you know, irritating material that makes you want to tear it off immediately, but no, it's absolutely perfect. I already wore it two or three times and had no irritation of skin, loved it, looked good i would say and yeah i highly recommend this piece i got it the uh, the price on the price tag of this one was 65 dollars but i'm pretty sure i got some discount on it don't you love this i mean what can scream more holidays than a golden top this is michael kors it's in 2x and i just love it I've already worn this one and I, I wore it only to one restaurant and I got three compliments just on my way out and in. So it's definitely a good piece to have. It has a cold shoulder and I know cold shoulders are kind of out already but it's my jam guys. You can see it. It's, it's my jam and it probably will for a while. So. The outside is scratchy. If you wore it inside out, it would be scratchy. But I don't know what magic Michael Kors used, but when you wear it, it's perfectly fine. So, if you like it, I recommend this one. We will stay on brand a little longer. We have another Michael Kors piece, but this one is more for summer than winter. It's very light material, very nice material, and it has those 
MKs on it. I think some bigger brand like Gucci or somebody came up with their logo in a circle before and all these smaller or less fancy brands just copied it as we've seen it with many other other pieces. So it has a little tie in the front to make it less or more revealing and it's a pretty piece. I will actually have to wait for a little longer because it's really cold as where I'm based now but I'll definitely enjoy this one. And last and unfortunately the least of Michael Kors pieces that I've tried, I didn't buy this one because unfortunately it didn't fit. One thing about Michael Kors pieces is that they are rarely stretchy and this shirt wasn't stretchy. It was really tight around my arms and I didn't feel like it gave me the right silhouette. It was way too wide around my waist, around my torso, but it was way too tight around my arms. So that one was a hard pass, but I loved the zipper detailing and on the hanger it looked really good. And this top I saw, I took and I bought immediately. I really loved this. I love the colors, I love the design, I love the stripes. I just love everything about it. This is just so beautiful and the material is just lovely. It will be good for winter, good for summer. Remember how I said I like my arms covered? I have bought two shirts that would serve the purpose perfectly. One white one, it's absolutely light, it feels like you have nothing else on. So for summer or for the evening events, it will definitely be perfect. It's from Alex Evenings in 3X and apparently based on the tag made in China. And the second one I bought is from SL Fashion New York and it's in 24 and you could see it over the mesh lacy dress and I love it. I will definitely wear it even to work or whatever occasion I have, summer, winter it is. Love it. The next thing I bought were these pants. I don't know how you feel about the faux leather pants. Some people love them, some people absolutely hate them. Me, I'm in the middle and that's why these pants are absolutely perfect. They meet you halfway. They have the leather at the front part of the pant, but they are the normal breathable material in the back. So you get the best of both worlds. You get the look of the leather pants but you don't sweat your butt off in them it's not that you feel like you'll be sweaty that the material doesn't breathe that you'll just die of heat in them they are absolutely fine i've already bought one of these a year ago and i wore them to the shreds absolutely recommended a piece that I was returning for actually. We're almost there, last two pieces to go and they're both pants. I don't know about you but finding nicely fitting pants is always a long and painful process for me. So when I get something that I really like, I'm just grabbing it and running with it. One example of pants like that is this one from JM Collection. It's 18. They look like this, nothing particularly special, black pant. They have these nice leather panels on the top, both in the front and in the back. And what's most important, they fit around my waist as well as around my thighs. So, win win with these ones. And last but not least, yeah, I am the type of person that if it fit, 
and I wore it that much that it got absolutely destroyed, I buy it again. This is another case and I'm guilty as charged, I'm rebuying things that are loved and destroyed. They are from IMC and they are 18 as well. They have these nice golden details. They are something between jeans and pants. They look really good. And as I said, I wore their predecessor absolutely till they were distressed, even though they were not meant to be distressed before. The only difference from the old time is there are no pockets up in the front. The old ones had it, but the back pockets are still functional, so we're good. So this is it. Thank you very much for watching. If you like it, click on the subscribe button because there are many more videos about fashion and travel coming your way very soon. I'll be posting every week. It was lovely to meet you. Please let me know down in comments what did you think about the clothes, if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer it and see you later.